All right, guys. Well, I got my new WrestleMania CPO today. I will get it installed. Show you some before and after. We all are familiar with how the original one looks. You can see it's in terrible shape. Again, this was the area that had the uh, the goop, whatever you want to call it, underneath the Lexan. Took the Lexan off and it, and tried to clean it, uh, clean it up, and it just took all the artwork right with it. So, uh, and various other spots, you know, around the security screw holes and then along the edge. So, got my brand new CPO. I also had another one printed up, so I have two of them uh, in case I screw one up, which I, I probably won't, but just in case I did, I bought two of them. And uh, if I get this one on here successfully, this will be an extra. And I have a friend over at the uh, at the KLOV forum and at the Build Your Own Arcade Controls forum. Uh, if I do successfully put this on here, I will contact him and send him this one because I know he's looking for one also. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. So again, here's before, and I will get the new one on and through the magic of video editing. When I come back, the new one will be on and this old one will be gone. So one second. Bam, there it is. Brand new, looks phenomenal. I say it a lot, but I'll say it again, above and beyond, complete above and beyond expectation. So, this project on the WrestleMania restoration is now 100% complete. All it was waiting on was a new CPO. So here it is. Gorgeous. I will add in some pictures here so you can see uh, in better detail with better lighting through the via the flash on the camera here. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, it is uh, just a phenomenal job. So there it is. Thanks for watching and following along with all these uh, WrestleMania restoration videos, and that's it. Um, so I guess we'll see you next time.